how beautiful it is cyber shaky running across a busy road what's going on friends rich discovery coming at you from a i'm in a garage right now rotted falling apart garage but we're at a house that uh unfortunately is it's being sold it's not abandoned but it's being sold for uh as a development site which probably means the house is going to come down and that's unfortunate because it's nothing spectacular it's just a beautiful old house uh it depends on where you read some of the reports say it was built around 1810 other reports say it could have been built as early as 1780 but somewhere around then either way it's well over 100 years old 200 years old and uh, i don't want to keep looking at it it's still going to be there when i get out very old and i hope they don't tear it down but just in case we're going to take a quick look at it and at least preserve it in pictures or something i guess i hope they save this place that's unfortunately something you never want to see there it is from the front love that front door though Again, oh, it's up with those windows anyways look at this probably newer steps well not newer but you know what i mean I got little windows up there beautiful look at just the the woodwork you know the design and everything it's not just flat pieces of wood like everything is today it had style is that a knocker <laughs> if they open the door gonna go nice knocker <laughs> i wonder if anybody's here i guess we'll find out <laughs> uh, boo you and also this house has one of the old connecticut highway department marker stones one of the few still left around the state they use those for marking the right-of-way when they were making the roads. Making them like this and not dirt trails. <laughs> it's cool it's still there. Take a quick look at it from this side. Always love that style with the back like that and the older houses. And this chimney's interesting. They must have had a wood stove or something in there. It has the regular chimney up top. But that one's just interesting looking. Really cool. It almost looks like it's metal, but it's not. Pretty sure that's concrete. Oh yeah. Cool. Take a look around the back here. There's an old garage in the back. It's all overgrown back here. I don't know how far the property goes back. Probably quite a bit though. Let's go take a quick look at this garage. Oh, look at that tree, huh? That thing's ancient. Oh, it's all rotted and broke. Huh. That's even older then. Yeah, look at this. That concrete floor that could have been added later, or who knows when this was built, though. Definitely not as old as the house. Newer shelf up top. The old windows, little pane stuff, pretty neat. Oh, look at this, yeah. There's a ton of, a bunch of nails and stuff hammering at one spot. I wonder what that was, or who did that. Good old window, huh? Isn't that cool? Newer shelves. We got some nuts and bolts up there. Yeah. And just really old walls. They must have, oh no, it's a different type of wood, that's why. That's cool, I don't know. Let me put these in. Oh, I'm so excited over friggin' wood. <laughs> Had a bunch of stuff hanging here at one time. Cool. Must have had a broken window. Oh, funnel. Anybody need a transmission funnel? Must have been there a long time. Look, it's got a a wire mark from it swinging over these over these years. <laughs> it's all rotted up top too, huh? Wander back up here. It's a nice little yard. Again, I don't know how far that goes back. The river's back there somewhere, probably to the river. The chimney in the middle is obviously the original one, and then that small one on the side that we saw. I don't know if either of those windows up top are original. They don't look it. Those look pretty rotted on the side of that one though. I don't know if you can tell or not. I have no idea what condition this house is in. I've never been inside it. Uh, it was a home for you know a couple hundred years. It was a bunch of different things. It was an antique store, I believe, at one point. Somebody lived in it, and they had their antique store business going out of it. I never went inside when it was at because I never saw it open. But I don't know. There's something going here. I don't know if there was uh, they added something or maybe there was a porch or a door, or a step or something there. But obviously some different concrete in between the sections of brick there. Oh, looks like they might have had a little overhang there. Look at that. That is so cool. The way that paint's just peeling. I think it's perfect the way it is. Buy it and just keep it like this. 
I love that paint though. Isn't that beautiful? Got all chicken wire in there too. I wonder why. Maybe for the antiques. Oh, oh there's a broken window there. Jeez. Yeah, look at this. This is where the antique store was that I remember. This is the side of it here. Yeah, see, sorry, we're closed. Been closed for you know, probably 10, 15 years now. And I think that was the sign that said antiques. Can't quite tell though. A little siren action coming. Hold on one minute. All right, they went the other way. Well, like I said, nothing spectacular. Just a beautiful old home from uh, either 1810 or 1780 or sometime there in between. I really hope they save this place. And unfortunately, I'm not in the business of saving houses. Cars, yeah, we'll drag them out the woods and get them going again, but I don't know about houses. You know what? That top part doesn't look original either. Those upper windows. I mean, the windows don't, but just the way the, the wood on those two windows sticking out looks like it might have been redone or added or something at one point. Poke it around this side again. The fuses go for the for the meter, or the meter goes, rather. I don't know what's in here. We skipped this before. Nothing. A little storage area, I guess. Look at really old crates, huh? put together like a step. Look at that. I wonder what that was built on. Old boxes or something, I'm sure. That's cool. I wonder, there's a window here. Looks like they filled in something here. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe just the way it looks. Still, I just can't get over the way this paint looks. It's so beautiful. Take one more look at the property. I really hope they saved this house. And if not, it'll... I'm sorry, I'm trying to walk sideways and not trip. <laughs> I'm filming, it's a little shaky. But I hope it gets saved. And if not, you know, at least it'll live on in pictures and video. And there's stuff online about it. So, I don't know. Hopefully it stays. One last look at it from the road. She's beautiful, though, isn't she? Look at this street sign here. It's so old, it's actually still wooden. Probably the original sign on the street. Another wooden one. Body Impala. Look at that. That one's all faded. No parking. That is so cool. Glimpse of it as we pull up to it and then pull away. My old house. Ah, I'm plugged in. That didn't work. <laughs> all right, we're back at the office. Let me prop you up on the steering wheel here. Back in the office, as you can see. Thanks for joining me on that quick little visit to that house. Again, I don't know what's going to happen with it. It's being sold like, a, like I showed you, a development site. So I would assume that means they're going to sell it to develop it and something else. A lot of commercial stuff around here, a lot of residential. So who knows they're going to make it. Um, would love to see it get saved, but it depends on who buys it, I guess. And I don't know. Kind of sad. It sucks. But we knew something like this was going to happen sooner or later. Because it's been closed up like that forever and it's just slowly falling apart. And I don't know when the people moved out. It had to have been about 10 years ago, maybe less. There was cars there until recently. And... uh but I didn't see anybody going in and out of there. The antique store that was there hasn't been open or even there that I know of in at least 10 years. I'm trying to remember. It just kind of stopped. Even when it was open, it wasn't really open. I, you couldn't get in. They were never open. I don't know why some of these antique stores around here in Connecticut, they're always, they're never open. You got to stop when you see it open because it might be your last chance. Well, anyways, thanks for joining me. Hope it gets saved. I'm just going to pop this up. Hopefully it's, it's just going to be a quick video. I just wanted to share it with you and at least get it on the web so if it does get torn down this summer at least we can come back and look at it like i said there's countless articles online about it so i don't know wish us luck wish it luck wish someone luck pray that they save it thanks for watching friends get out and discover your world you never know when you'll find a beautiful house like that it's like 200 years old that might be gone in in a week so who knows <laughs> all these years and i still don't know how to end the video <laughs> i don't know what to say at the end of my videos uh, see what i mean all right, thanks for watching. Ah, damn it. Look what's on the console. Uh, well, at least I got a lockout kit. It's locked in my trunk. Oh, well, at least we work at a place where I can just go up and get tools to open this real quick. <laughs> what's going on, friend? Just go. You see me filming, right?